Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to play Aries by Google Dolls. The first thing that we need to know is that we are going to subdivide every bit on three. Okay, so let's learn the verses. So basically, we are going to play D on the fifth fret, third string once, then we are going to play E on the second fret, second string once and then we are going to play G on the third fret fourth string. Remember, each beat we are going to subdivide it on three. So let's listen to that part. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. After you have learned that, we are going to play B on the second fret third string. Then we are going to play a on the fifth fret fourth string and then we are going to play G on the third fret fourth string. So let's listen everything together. One, two, three. There you go. Basically, you got the verses. You need to repeat that, what we have learned, as needed, okay? Brilliant. Now, let's go with the chorus. Basically, on the choruses, we are going to play on the second fret, uh, third string B, we are going to play it four times. Also, we are going to play four times A on the fourth string fifth fret and then we are going to play 10 times G on the fourth string third fret remember the subdivision okay so let's listen the choruses There you go. You need to repeat that as many times as you need it. But basically, that's the chorus. Afterwards, there is a bridge. The first time that comes around this bridge, basically, we are going to change the subdivision. We are going to subdivide in three and then in two. Okay. So let me explain you how it works. Basically, we are going to play B twice okay one two three one two three one two three okay afterwards we are going to play D on the fifth fret third string and the subdivision is gonna be two so basically we are going to play only um, two eighth notes so one two three one two Right. Afterwards, we're going to play G and then we're going to play F sharp on the fourth string second fret. And the subdivision is going to be in three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Afterwards, we are going to play G on the fifth fret second string then we are going to play F sharp on the fourth fret second string and then we are going to play D on the uh, third string fifth fret and the subdivision is going to be in two okay so let's listen to that part one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three after you have learned that we are going to repeat everything till F okay so let's do it everything together so you will learn it one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three there you go you got the first um 
bridge that comes around the song. Okay, here there is a tip, okay? This is where um, the strings are playing if you want to make the song a little bit more like interesting you can change the second note instead of repeating that beat basically you are going to play C sharp okay you are going to change only one note this is not in the song but because of the strings are playing that note it could be really interesting so try it out and let me know what do you think but for me works pretty pretty good okay so I'm going to play the same thing this time the second note I'm going to change it instead of playing B again I'm going to play C sharp on the fourth uh, fret third string one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three there you go fantastic so basically we got that part. Let's move into the next section. Afterwards, it's gonna come around another um, verse and another chorus. You are going to play the same thing. You have learned it. The next time that the bridge comes around, we are going to play eight times. B on the second fret, third string. Then we are going to play D on the fifth fret, third string. Then we are going to play three times G and then we are going to play three times F sharp. We are going to use the same subdivision that we have learned before. The same subdivision that we learned on um, the last bridge that we just learned. So let's listen to that part. One, two, three, four, five, six. guys at this moment I'm editing the video and um, I just uh, realized that I forgot to mention that between B and D there is um, we play C sharp on the fourth fret uh, third string okay the audio is good the taps are good and you are going to hear exactly how it should be played but uh, I forgot to mention it so let's continue perfect and we're going to use the same trick that we learned before. Instead of playing A times uh, B, we are going to play four times on the second fret, third string, and another four times on C sharp on the fourth fret, third string. It's gonna be exactly the same. We're going to change only one note, but uh, the, um, the strings are playing it. So why? don't support that you know what I mean okay this is not also in the original song but it's gonna tie it a little bit a little more the groove the band okay so let's listen only that part one two three there you go after you have learned that we're going to play a groove that comes after this um, section, after this bridge. Okay, so basically we are going to play eight times G on the fourth fret, third string. Okay. Brilliant. So learn that rhythm first. Okay. I'm going to play it one more time. Right? Brilliant. After that, we're going to repeat exactly the same rhythm. Okay? But we're going to change the note. So we're going to play G on the third fret, fourth string. Then we are going to play F on the second fret, fourth string. Then we're going to play um, G again and then we're going to play B on the second fret third string then we're going to play G on the fourth string third fret then we're going to play F so the order is G F G B 
G, F. And then we are going to play B. So let's listen everything together till there. Brilliant. And let's learn the feel that comes after this. That is quite easy. So basically we're going to play three times B on the second fret, third string, three times A on the fifth fret, fourth string, three times G on the um, third fret, fourth string, then three times F on the second fret, fourth string, then we're going to play E open string, then we're going to play D, on the 5th fret 3rd string and we are going to finish with B ok so let's do it slow 1, 2, 3, 4 so let's listen everything together There you go. So basically you got the feel and everything. You got the entire material. So basically that will be it from my end. Basically you need to learn every section that I have taught you and learn it. Afterwards you can practice with the song. Okay. So basically that will be it from my end. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember that you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links are on the description down below. If you found this uh, video helpful, I invite you to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. That will help me quite a lot. And basically that will be it. Okay guys, see you next time. Have fun.